Let me ask you a question. Are you willing to let your children be more independent at the cost of letting them struggle? Or do you just want what's best for your children while actually being a helicopter parent? When I first came to Hong Kong, I learned how to get to places, order food, and ask for help without even using my phone. Despite the challenge, I only muster up the courage to become confident and travel around Hong Kong after my fair shares of struggle. One of the biggest problems I faced was my unforgettable experience of getting lost in the MTR with no one to help me. During my first month of living in Hong Kong, my family and I were going for a hike to Dragon's Back. Unfortunately, while changing trains, I got lost in the crowded station. I panicked because I did not have a phone and surprisingly, I could not recall my dad's number. As an eight year old, I stood in the middle of a sea of unfamiliar faces, having no idea where I was going, no cash, didn't speak Cantonese, and no phone. All I had was an empty card with hardly any money in it. Honestly, what was I supposed to do? Even though I could feel the butterflies in my stomach, I tried to remain calm. At that moment, I knew I only had two options. I could either wander around aimlessly, getting even more lost, or study the map of the MTR station and try to find my way back home. Uh, I thought about finding someone to help me, but I wasn't even sure whether I could communicate with anyone here. Plus, even if I did find someone to help me, I was way too shy to speak up. Both options were debatable, but after careful consideration, I chose to find my way home. Fortunately, I had good observational skills and nearly retraced my steps home. The hardest part was finding which train to board as they were going in opposite directions. I felt so cautious because I could see people giving me awkward looks while I was roaming around. After some time, I finally gathered up all of my courage and asked someone to help me. I will never forget the kind teenager who guided me through the busy station. He was so patient that he even stayed with me while I was waiting for my train. When I came out of the MTR, I easily recognized the landmark and followed the skyscraper that I knew was near my apartment. I was so thankful that I had invested my time in going out of the house and observing places rather than staying home and playing video games like normal children. After going through a roller coaster of emotions that day, I eventually reached my house and called my parents in the landline and told them that I still feel I home. At that moment, I realized that things could be done without a smartphone. And from that day on, I became independent. I could take care of myself and I was always ready for the worst. Even though I got lost a couple of times after, I knew that I just had to stay calm and figure it out. Due to that incident, I became more confident and even improved my social skills. I used to be a very shy person and only liked to stay in my comfort zone, but now I can converse with anyone going beyond my comfort zone. I was surprised to hear that there was an organization called Lecro where they believe that adults should step back and let kids step up. Lori Corner, a principal at Tretmont Elementary School, has a Lecro play club at her school where there are no adults and kids can learn how to become independent. According to Corner, kids discover skills and abilities they didn't even know they had. And they also discover what it's like to fail. While on the surface might not sound all that appealing, failure is how kids learn to overcome obstacles, try out new ideas, and become resilient. It's also how adults learn as well. Maybe sometimes the best results just come when you're thrown into the deep end, like I was. I think that children have to go through some tough times in order to become more self-sufficient and independent. I hope to inspire all of you to leave your devices and actually explore the real world. Children need to struggle in order to become more independent, but that can only happen when parents let go of the fear of letting their children fail. I would like to end this talk with a quote from a famous movie, Cinderella Story, that resonates with me. Never. Let the fear of striking out keep you from playing the game. The end. Thank you so much for listening to my talk. I hope you enjoyed. 
Bye.